Invoice and credit note transactions are entered in a batch prior to updating customer balances. Batches can be opened either from the Batch Entry button on the toolbar or from the Edit menu and Open Invoice Batches. A list of open batches is displayed in a grid and new batches can be created from the New button. Batches are collections of customer transactions that have not yet been committed to accounting with a batch description to identify the purpose of the group. Company profile settings are available to provide a default batch description and also to include a unique screen color for identification between open and archive batches. Invoice batches can have three different types of transaction entries. Invoices are entered for tracking purchases and credit notes are used for changing either the customer outstanding balance or a particular invoice amount owing. If Adagio job cost is integrated, a third type is a retainage invoice, which is specifically used to bill the retained holdback amount. When creating an invoice, choose the customer either from the code field, the name, the phone number, or the posted document number. If the customer is on hold or has a balance over the credit limit, optional prompts may be defined to appear when the customer code is selected. If you are editing an existing invoice in the batch and the customer has more recently been edited, you will receive a prompt asking if you want to reread the customer for updated information, unless the company profile is set to disable this message. Transactions have several tabs with related information, and the default visible tab can be set in the company profile whenever an entry is created or edited. You can control which fields are visited when tabbing through the form or even disable or hide chosen fields by setting up an entry template with field settings. The header tab has information general to the invoice, such as a description, purchase order number, salesperson, shipping information, and tax status. When integrated with Adagio inventory, defaults for the location shipped from and the alternate price list for items are set here. And when integrated with Adagio Doc Store, you can attach PDF documents to the transaction, such as a service agreement contract or payment confirmation that can be viewed not only from the batch entry, but also after it has been posted to the customer and retrieved into Adagio Ledger. The Bill To tab has the customer number, name, billing address, and customer contact. The Ship To tab has the customer shipping address and contact, which can be different than the billing address and loaded from a predefined code if desired. The text tab has a place to enter up to 750 characters of information about the invoice, which can be loaded from a predefined code. The optional fields tab is visible if any optional field titles have been defined for invoices in the company profile. The items tab is the place to add details to the invoice, whether they are for purchases or services, text information, subtotal lines, or others. Click the New button to add an item defined either in Adagio Invoices or Adagio Inventory if integrated, using either the item number or description to locate it. Once selected, there is a User Preference option to immediately edit the new item to make any changes. For Adagio Invoices items, you can enter a quantity to ship unit price and costs if both are visible, date, tax status, and up to 750 characters of text. Detail fields can also be disabled or hidden from the entry template configuration, or from display options on the item setup. There is another user preference option when the item is selected to create another new item instead of editing the first item, if the default values typically don't need to be edited and speed of adding new items is more important. When adding an inventory item to an invoice, in addition to this information, you can also include the ship from location, see quantity available at the various locations, and optional field values to find on the items. When you click in the item price field, you may choose with a company profile option to see the alternate pricing levels, and an item inquiry button is available to display another screen with these same pricing levels, location quantity on hand, and historical sales transaction inquiry. 
the Totals tab displays the document number and type, and for credit notes, the applied invoice number is also available. The default invoice number will come from the next number in the company profile if the increment setting is selected, and can optionally include a document prefix. But this may be changed as required, unless this value is locked. The invoice date defaults to the value used when logging in, unless the company profile option to use the computer system date is enabled. Invoice payment terms and tax amounts are also shown here. If miscellaneous charges are enabled in the company profile, the amounts can be entered here. If Adagio job cost is integrated, then the total retainage amount and due date is visible. If Adagio multi-currency is integrated, the customer currency exchange rate is available. And you can attach a customer payment to an invoice from the Payments tab, if you allow payments on invoices with the company profile option. With user-defined payment methods such as check or credit card or cash. You can define the payment terms in receivables to require a partial or full payment of invoices if required. And when Adagio Payments is integrated, this activates additional payment options. Online credit card processing with Repay can directly process the customer credit card when the invoice is posted, without having to re-enter the payment information with the credit card provider. And customers can also use pre-authorized debiting on the invoice, so that when the invoice is posted, a bank data file is updated for uploading the payment. Batch entry does not have an OK or Cancel button. Whatever has been entered on the invoice will be saved when the Close button is clicked. From the Batch List screen, you can edit displayed batches before they are posted to update transaction information, if necessary. Sort batches either by the batch number or description. Change the batch description using the Rename button if something new is required. Copy one or more entire batches, or edit a batch and select one or more entries to copy. Update information on the new transactions if desired, and choose the location of where to save them. And you may also choose to move the transaction and therefore delete the original batch entry. An archive process is exactly the same as copying, except the default save location is a new archive batch. You may also select batches to print or email forms print a listing report for verification, and post the batches to commit transactions to customers and accounting. Manage your customer receivables by entering invoices in batches. Find out more about Adagio from the product page on our website. Watch another training video on this Adagio program from the playlist, or subscribe to the Adagio YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.